Hi everyone, my name's Regan, I'm the Student Groups Coordinator. Today we're going to be going through some dashboard training. So this is for committee members of societies, liberation groups and student media. And you can use the dashboard to communicate with your members, um, to post any events on the website that you might be hosting, and also to edit your web page. So this is a society web page, this is kind of what it looks like. This is just a test society that I've, I've set up for the purpose of this training session though. Um, so once you've signed in, at the top here it should say hello with your name and you can just click on dashboard there. Now yours is going to look a bit different than mine. You should have some icons um, and now you should say like events, communications, that kind of thing. But once you've clicked on any of those icons it should take you to a page that looks like this. So if you want to edit your web page then this is the page that you'll do that on. So this is the name of your society. Your nominal code is your society account number. So these last three digits are the ones that you'll use on your finance forms. So any expense forms, outgoing cost forms, any bidding forms, that kind of thing. Um, here is where you can talk about who you are, what you do, what your society is there for. Um, and you can put any of your social media pages there so people can go and follow them. This is the email address that your communications would come from. So it says societies at the moment, but each society does have its own email address. If you don't have access to that, then ask me and I can get it for you. And the display name is what your members will see the email come from. So you want to make it your society name. Moving on to the group logo, if you wanted to upload an image, then you can do that here just by choosing a file from your computer. Everyone should have four different membership types, so one-year membership, three-year membership, alumni membership, and a staff and community membership as well. Um, you can add some questions if you would like to, so that you will have to answer them as they join the society. So this can be something like, what events would you like the society to host? Um, but they're not essential, so don't worry about that too much. And then you can link your social media pages to this too. Under user groups, you'll see that you have administrators, which is the committee. So you'll be able to just click on show user group. And this is who your committee is. So at the moment, it's just me. But you should have all of your committee members on there. And then you'll also be able to see all of your members too. If you'd like to add an event to the website, then just click here, add event. This is the name of your event, as it would appear on the website, so let's call it the test event. And this is when it's going to begin. So let's say it starts next week at 2 p.m. And it can end next week at 3 p.m. And then if I don't want it to go live straight away, then I can also choose when it will be published too. So if I wanted to go live on Sunday at 2 p.m., and I can do that there. Here you can put a little description of what the event is. So what you're going to be doing, where is it going to be, what time is it going to start, what's the date. I think that's wrong. And then maybe just some inspiring words to encourage people to come along. You can choose what category it's going to go under. So it's usually going to be society event, but then you can choose any of these that are relevant as well. It would be good to add your society logo so people know who is hosting the event when they see it on the events page. Your venue can be either your room number or if you're doing it online, especially at the moment, then you can put Zoom or whatever platform that you're going to be doing it on. And you can put the capacity of your event as well. If you don't want people to see how many tickets are left, then you can just hide the available ticket count. But if not, then you can leave that unticked. And then your contact de details should really be the societies as well. So I'm just going to test society. Um, and we'll leave that blank for now. Okay. If you would like to add a ticket to your event, then click here and add event ticket type. So you can add a ticket just to get an idea of who's going to be joining the event. So you can just put one on for free if you would like to, but you can also charge for tickets if you would like to as well. 
So to charge for them, you would just put bit the pound, you just put that there, and that would be the total fee. And because your nominal code or your society account number is linked to it, all of that money will go straight into your account. Then here, just put a little description of the ticket and then save event ticket type. Okay. If you wanna link it to your social media accounts, then feel free to also do that there as well. And then the next one is content management. So here is where you can add articles or any resources or pictures. This is where you'll have all of your membership details. So there's only one member of this society at the moment and it's me. Um, although I am listed as a committee member, I also have to join as a member of the group as well, because just because you have administration access does not mean you are a member of the society too. So make sure that you do that. Um, and remember that all of these details are really important to keep confidential and um, so that you follow the code of conduct and GDPR laws and all that kind of thing. And then here is where you can get in touch with your members. So you can write them an email. So here you can put the name of the email, anything that you want to call it. And that's just to remind you what it is, what it's about. Then here you need to just click user is a member of all and then it needs to say current members. So type in current members and it'll say your society name where it says test there. It's always going to be communication but then remember to click show target audience otherwise it won't go to anyone. And that's going to show you how many members are going to receive the email. So here is the email address that it'll come from and as from there it's just like a normal email so the email subject will go there the email content any information you want to send them will go there some people like to send regular newsletters but it's up to you and then here if you want to make it a bit more personal the communication to your members you can put in this little tag and then when they receive it it will say hi and whatever they have their first name down as on the on the website Then the last section, just go back here, is the committee. So here you'll have all of your committee titles, their names, the start date, and when their administration access will end as well. But that's about it for the dashboard, really. So if you have any questions, then feel free to email them over to me. So it's r.davison at mdx.ac.uk. If not, then enjoy. Thank you.